Previously on Night Bewitch 2, the party convinced Naitaka to ferry them across the lava ocean, opening up more of the underworld for exploration. They then traveled to Zamaste, where all its people are, were frozen in time. But that's not going to stop them from paying for merchandise, like good citizens. What is this thing? One of Zamaste's other maidens, I presume. Prepare yourselves. Alright, just a mob of enemies. Encounter? Never fought anything like these before. How does the Masse lose the war of technology so advanced? What little of it they have was likely kept for self-defense. Also, it's not their technology. All maidens like these have been found buried deep under the underworld deserts. None of this makes any sense. If they were buried, then who buried them? And that, my dear, is where the mystery lies. No one knows. An ancient kingdom, a parallel universe, time travel gone wrong perhaps, we will likely never know. Hmm. The Undersea, probably there's going to be random encounters with robots, right? Life Powder. Potion. 15G. More jail cells. Hmm. Looks like an infirmary. Should we get some rest? Sure, hope there's no trap. You know, Melody, I think this is the first time we've ever traveled this far together. Isn't it nice? Yes, Esther, I suppose so. Now, what was it you wanted to talk about? Well, um, this actually, I feel like you've been acting kind of strange on this whole trip. I mean, a little stranger than usual, you know? What's wrong with wanting to see the Undersea in person? Though it does look different from what I expected. Perhaps it's due for renovation. Renovation? What are you talking about? If given the opportunity, would you peer into the future? Um, what? Melody, I've been worrying about you. Is there something going on between you and Uno, maybe? No, dear, I've just felt a bit under the weather lately, is all. Besides that, everything is fine. I know we're not as close as you and our sister Meredith are, but we you would still tell me if something was going on, right? Of course, but you have nothing to worry about. Well, we... I am fine. We? Okay, so you... Are you actually pregnant? Do you pr uh, promise? I promise. Yeah, the we might have been referring to the... Uh, it's the baby. Great, and for the record, no, I wouldn't want to see the future. That would make life boring, you know? Like, what would even be the point? Huh, you raise a good point. It would make things predictable. Wouldn't it? Hmm. Okay, so I could use this spot to grind if I wanted to. Buy the cherries. Mist Potion. Volt Staff. Good, that'll give me an edge against the robots. High Aether. Potion. Fouling Skill Enhancer. Elixir. Hard tack. Full heal. And ribbon. Does that resist status effects? It doesn't say which ones. They... Uh, why? Corrupting potion. Fiery spell book. 18G. Cactus IPA. Okay, let's avoid that. Potent Potion. This looks like an exit. Let's finish what we're doing here first. Uh, 
Okay. Let's see, attack drone, defense drone, repair drone. Bell shout. Okay, I need to take out oh, one attack drone and one repair drone. That's what the guide recommended. Phalanx. Hmm. Priest party luck. This is bad. Since I counterattack, that could. Get me in trouble, huh? Uh, the barrier is gonna be pretty difficult to deal with, too. Shock. Attack drone. Hmm. Oh no! Why are you going after her? I, I even used the aggro type stuff just to make sure you couldn't do that, but... Uh, still, the, my luck with aggro is, is so bad somehow. Crushing blow. Let's see, Greater Bruce Self. Mocking blow. Force you to play by my rules somehow. Am I making any progress? Hmm. Oh, come on! Magnetized? Oh, it only stops normal attacks, which I rarely- uh, which I probably don't really need on her- uh, uh, Yeah, she's just gonna spam Crushing Blow anyways. Okay. Backstab. I cannot kill any more drones, unfortunately. Static shield? Wait, what does that mean? Does that make mean it's going to be even stronger in terms of defense?
Mist Potion. Ambush. Our strike shock mocking blow Garot Oh good dodge Almost there Oh no, I'm getting cutting it close. And there goes the robot. Do we get any I don't think we got experience, there's just money. Vulcan stone half? Wait, don't tell me... They uh, they led us here on purpose because they planned to steal a Vulcan stone from us. Those cultists. Looks like an ordinary stone. Seeing as it's only half of the Vulcan stone, it's likely only had enough power for one use. Regardless, it's probably for the best that we got to it before the cult did. No, they were waiting for you to get it first, so they could somehow steal it from you, you know, using their mole. But this is only half of the stone, and where's the other half? Why don't we step outside and ask them? Do we actually have to fight them all? Shoot. I kind of didn't heal. Long time no see. That old main, uh, those old mains were quite a pain. It was nice of you to clear them out for us. You're too late. We already have the stone. Oh no, you have the stone and we're outnumbered. Whatever will we do? Who are you? What do you want? Are you always so serious? Fine, just for fun. I'll tell you everything. I am Lysandra, the new leader of the Call of Dracon. We are going to restore both halves of the Vulcan Stone and revive Lord Typhus. And just how do you plan on doing that when we already have one half? Hmm, <laughs> oh I know. How about we have a race? A race? It'll be so much fun. The second half of the stone is kept in the Null Fortress, protected by the monarch deep within the Nivian Waste. Let's have a race to see who can get there first, shall we? What the hell is wrong with you? I'm just trying to be fair. It wouldn't be a fair race if only I knew where the other half was, would it? I suppose I shouldn't expect a dimwit like yourself to understand. You! Good luck, you'll need it. Damn it, where the hell did she go? She really wants to revive Typhus. Is this all just a game to her? The Nivian Wastes are on the landmass far northeast. We still have time to get there before she can. Surely she can't do anything if we both obtain both halves of the stone. No, we, you still, still don't know who the mole is. That the mole's just gonna steal both halves and then uh, give it to her. You're probably right, but I just can't tell where she's genuinely crazy or this is all part of her plan. She knows something we don't. She's leading us straight into her trap. But do we have any other choice? If we do nothing, then she'll get the second half herself. We don't have a choice. She knew this from the very beginning. I don't care where it's a trap or not. Let's go get the stone, find her, and kick her ass. I don't like it, but it's our only choice. Let's find Naitaka and head for the Nivian Waste. But who's the mole? Zamase Undercity. Oh, there's a secret passage right in the bottom corner here. Whoa, it actually had directly for that corner, too. That makes things easier. The lava has risen slightly. Shoals surrounding the area have submerged. I can take you further now. Okay, t need to take a look at some of the NPCs here. The rich and spoiled Princess of Zamaste, Adalia Primrose. 
Melody, are you all right? Don't tell me you're you're related to her somehow. I'm fine. My apologies. Hmm. Maybe they're just send uh, the uh, uh, then I don't know. He's a butler. I know nothing about him. And why do you mention him? Queen Lacosta Primrose. She used her half of the Vulcan stone to banish her own kingdom before its inevitable destruction. A shame it was all for nothing. All for nothing? What do you mean? Have you heard of the monkey's paw? Sure, it's a story of a relic that could grant wishes at a cost, right? Correct. Imagine the Vulcan stone as the ultimate monkey's paw. The stone contains great power, but anyone who uses that power is doomed to destroy what they care for the most. Such is the price for interfering with fate. And the queen probably knew that, which is why she banished the Mossay instead of just using it to destroy Helonia. In the end, she didn't save her kingdom. She merely delayed the inevitable. I believe this is Prince, uh, the princess's retainer. I'm afraid that's all I remember about him. This must be the ancestor that Dwarf in the Deep Forge was talking about. Hmm, he wanted us to bring back proof, but what should we bring? He has an axe, just take that. No, that's not fair for a sky. I know, let's just rip off some of his beard. You don't see the problem with that. Nope, let me just bust out some scissors and... There, this should work. Tuft of Hair. Found him yet? Hand over the Tuft of Hair. Here's a lock of that guy's hair, is that enough? My god, it's the same hair color as mine, I really am his flesh and blood. We'll have to get this tested, of course, but for now, I'm satisfied. Thank you all. Oh yeah, here's your reward. Stray's Arrow Rain Skill Enhancer. I, we used to have that one. But by default, we didn't need an enhancer for it. How is there a snow biome in a place like this? Weird. Nivius. Depending on who you ask, you could think of this as either a winter wonderland or a frozen wasteland. I like to say on the positive side myself. How is a place like this physically possible? As was an archaeologist, my team and I have been all across the world. We've excavated several valuable and sometimes dangerous artifacts. Before I was forced to disband due to an incident, we were set to excavate an ancient unnamed desert temple. Somewhere within the temple lies an artifact called the Golden Hourglass. It could prove unsafe in the wrong hands. If you find it, bring it back to me. It was, it's warmer in here than you thought it'd be, isn't it? The inside of an igloo can reach up to 60 degrees. Never stop snowing, isn't that cool? No ice sliding mechanic. It's been almost 10 years since the first snowfall. Many of us, like my husband, couldn't adapt in time. I hope to join them soon. This continent used to be covered in smaller villages. The roofs of those houses are the only things left, besides the bodies of anyone who refused to leave. Welcome. Hmm. Nivian Moonshine. Hey, I have all kinds of neat stuff here. Isn't that cool? See a shiny redstone? I bet it's worth a lot. Want to buy it? I'll sell it to you for 100G. Sure, why not? Hope you like it. Talk to me again if you want to buy more cool things. I suppose I have to buy everything in order, huh? An ordinary red rock. Looks like you got screwed with this one, huh? Never know. Maybe it's not ordinary. Maybe it'll be used for a side quest. Shrapnel shot. Okay, skill enhancer. Those are more important to buy than normal equipment, I think. Hmm, anti-barrier. Okay, that gives me another anti-barrier gimmick to work with. But I am even poorer. Hardest bread, hard tack. I have to buy everything to get to the last one, huh? You know, may have to do some off-screen grinding for this one. Feels like it's easier to get EXP than money in this game. Looks like those damn ogres moved back into the fortress out west. They moved out when the snow started falling. Not very tolerant of the cold, I guess. Adventurers from the service, eh? I bet you're wondering what's up with all the snow down here. Kind of. Don't worry, it's not a terribly long story. About a decade ago, a young lass from around here was traveling when she found half a relic called the Vulcan Stone. This woman, her name was Mona, had heard a few stories about snow on the service, and she always wanted to experience it herself. So, not knowing any better, she used a relic to wish for snow. She returned here with the Vulcan Stone and almost immediately gained a following. She wished for more than just snow, you see. She was powerful. She named herself the Monarch. However, that power came at the cost of her sanity. 
She and her most devout followers eventually left and built the Null Fortress, a castle as empty and cold as her own heart. And now you know the tale of the monarch. Well, part of it, at least. Yeah, some people c come here for a sight, but I'm here for the tuna. Tuna is practically a delicacy compared to lava fish. If you plan on confronting the monarch, I might have a job for you. One of her former lieutenants, a man named Ash, is hiding out somewhere on this continent. When Mona first gained her power, she tried to subjugate anyone she couldn't c control. Many people died as a result, my own parents included. Now my parents raised me to be a responsible adult, that's why the townsfolk elected me, this man Ash. He was the monarch's favorite, and for good reason. If you happen to find him, do us all a favor, I'll make sure you're rewarded appropriately. A hit job. Tourists come here often to experience the cold. Most people down here will never see the surface, so Nivius is the only way for them to experience cold weather. There, now we're even. Huh, you really didn't have to, you know? Yeah, but when someone does something for me, I always feel obligated to return a favor. Know what I mean? So what are you two gonna do after we're done here- down here? Hmm, that's a tough one. Oh, I know, I've always wanted to open a bar. A bar, huh? Well, you'll definitely have the money to open one after this. Yeah, great idea, huh? Ray, what do you think? Co-managers? Hmm, I don't know. I'm actually thinking about going back to my tribe for a while. Your tribe? Why would you do that? Yeah, I thought you left them because you weren't happy there. I did, and I probably still won't, but... This might sound weird, but being on this grand adventure and all has made me think a lot about my own mortality. I have family back at home, and though they are a bunch of backwards traditionalists, I still miss them. I hate to die without seeing them again. I have another sister and a bird back on the surface, so I get what you're saying. What about you, Alex? Do you have any family? Meh, not really. We parted ways a long time ago. Never really got along with them anyway. Oh, I see. Well, if you're serious about opening a bar, we could definitely use one in Helonia. We don't have a single one yet. Wait, really? Yep, they were Ill illegal up until about a month ago. The kingdom's changed a lot in the last few months. You should come visit. Hmm, you know what? I think I'll think about it. Great, well, I suppose we should eat this food before it gets cold. There it is. Mocking blow and werewolf. Hmm. Mass eruption. Focus. Okay, poison bomb and hope they uh, and hope it procs. Oh no. Guard. Greater Brew. Arrow Rain. Backstab. It's getting stronger. Is this still afflicted with Mocking Blow? I think it fell off. Hey, Ambush. There we go. Blood Lair found and a bunch of sharp claws. Alright, this temple should have some treasure in it. Desert Temple 1. 21G. Eye drops. 18G. Corrupting potion. Oh, I see it. Fortunately, it does not seem to have the ability to actually fly. But I should probably be wary when going there. Life powder. Hard tack. Mega potion. Antidote. Melody's Anguish Skill Enhancer. Hmm. High Ether. Mithril Knuckle. Mist Potion. Hmm. 
just loops back around. Magma Core. 25G. Giant Egg. Fifteen G. Mana Crystal. Uno's Rupture Skill Enhancer. Twenty two G. Okay, notes down here. Ugh, free of them. have to take so many of them out. It's insane. But they're supposed to... Uh, but Holy should be effective against them, right? Phalanx. Ah, such powerful magic! It resets its barrier every turn. Not good. Hmm. Flash heal. It's the fastest healing in the West. No! Okay, just you now. Flash heal. Focus. No, wait. Steve's battle shout so I can maximize my efficiency. Focus. Hmm. Steel guard. Okay. Crushing Blow. Greater Smite. Shrapnel Shot. Every Slash. What? How are we supposed to get past such a huge barrier? I'm just burning so much MP just for these anti-barrier moves, too. I'm gonna start using high efers on people. Finally! Helm Splitter. Rear Smite. Okay. Vampire Sting. High Aether. It, he, he reset a barrier. That... That sucks. Uh, uh, my spirit has been crushed. Shrapnel shot. Man, that, it's just gonna reset every turn. That isn't. Uh, I, I I don't have the mana for that.
Oh, I need more MP. Did it run out of MP itself? Because it just used a normal attack on me. How is it just- how is it not dead yet? How much barrier does it regenerate every turn? This is kind of insane. How much- I'm gonna have to use Ephers with Roof every turn if I want to keep up this kind of offense. All that just to get past- oh, is it already reset, of course. Okay, for the- uh, yeah, barrier enemies are really annoying if they just regenerate every turn. Finally! It's just a DPS check at this point. What is Bubble Ring? Gains barrier equal to 15% of the current HP at the start of each battle. If only it was at the start of each turn, not, then we could be like the Wisp and just tank everything. Seriously, it was so tanky, it just ran out of MP. Of course, that does make it easier for us to focus on offense after a while, but damn. Now I need to return this to the client. Hand over Golden Hourglass. Thank you, I'm so happy you were able to bring this to me. Now, to, to do what I should have done with something else. There, I've destroyed it. This hourglass had the power to rewind time by one hour. Now it can never fall into the wrong hands. You see, the truth is, my team found the Vulcan Stone half. Against my better judgment, I gave it to Mona for safekeeping. I helped cause the never-ending winter you see here today. I'll give you a safer artifact in return. This one in particular could prove useful in the right hands. Necronomicon and Emerald. Mona, why do you do it? You knew better. I knew better. Or just a little place you can land here in the north. Mana Berries. Mm. Residual Potion. 15G. Life Powder. Mm. What, is that a ninja? What the heck? That's a werewolf alpha, but as a... Guaranteed encounter rather than a random one. Magma Core. Mist Potion. 22G. Gwen Smelling Salt Skill Enhancer. There's another continent over here, but I cannot travel on grass with him. Lestonia. Welcome to Lestonia, travelers. You're free to look around, but you won't be allowed to do certain things until Elder Tiamat grants you his approval. To prevent me from getting OP and buying gear too early, huh? Dwarves may craft strong equipment, but their eye for detail can be lacking for lack of better words. I apologize, but I can't tell you anything without the Elder's permission. We're not allowed to sell our goods to outsiders. I hope you understand. The Forge one was taken back, wasn't it? I'd like to see it for myself. Does that mean the inn's forbidden too? We're not really supposed to solve things to outsiders, but I'd feel bad if you got hurt. I'll just raise the prices. Yeah, that's way too expensive. Come back when I'll come back when the prices are good again. I'm gonna come out to let you sleep here. It'll cost forty. No, I'll just run from ram encounters until I get to a cheaper inn. Have you been to Nivius? I heard some idiot there used a Vulcan stone to cause an underground snowstorm. The stupidity of some humans is simply astounding. 
Want to play hide and seek? No? Why not? It's quite fun. Hey, yeah. Hey, you look a lot like me. What's your name? Stray. Wait, you're talking to me? I don't think we look the same that much. You're an elf too, right? Maybe you're my secret twin brother. Or perhaps you're yet another palette swap. We've encountered quite a few of those. Huh? What are you talking about? Don't mind her. She's weird like that sometimes. Enraging Shout Skill Enhancer, so it boosts our offense further, hopefully. Oh, Agility as well, and usually goes first in turn order. That's really good. Having uh, Being able to move before the enemy makes battles a lot easier to manage. You can respond to their actions a lot easier. Long ago, a group of elves and nymphs left for the surface to form their own village. I wonder how they're doing today. Elder Tiamat's title can be somewhat confusing. Originally, he was Tiamat the Younger, but after his father, the first Elder Tiamat passed away, he received the title. I wonder if that's what would have happened to Typhus the Younger. Elder Tiamat is not here right now. You'll have to return later. The Burden Temple isn't open to visitors, but if you'd like to view it from a distance, it's on a small island northeast of here. Elder Tiamat is not here right now. Okay. It is the Burden Temple we have to thank for our lush greenery. Without it, we could not exist. Okay, buy the next one. Hard tack. Hope you like it. Talk to me again if you want to buy more. Another shiny red stone. This time 500G. Sure. Magma Core, the real one. Hope you like it. Okay, do you have anything else? Sorry, I don't have anything else for sale right now. Come back later. Alright, that takes care of that. Um, that's six magma cores. I need, I need two more. Do we have actual room for error for these magma cores, or are there exactly two more? Alright, next up, there's this dungeon that's in the in our path. And now we'll have to fight s through here, huh? Oh boy. They're not going to budge for me, are they? Wait a second, haven't we fought these ogres before? Okay, the ones up there don't seem to be doing anything. Uh, he's got a suspicious looking lever right there. Hey, it's you again. Didn't you promise not to bar us anymore? How can you expect me to keep a promise like that? This is my keep. You are the trespassers. I don't suppose you let us pass, would you? Would I? Let me think. You forced me out of a castle I spent years cleaning out with my own two hands. Do you know why I went there to begin with? It's because of this damn cold. We can't stand it. We left to find better living conditions, but then you came along. No, I won't just let you pass. Pardon me for that rude outburst. I bid you all farewell. Wait, what? Separate slot. 18G. Residual potion. Potent potion. He went somewhere else. He's not on his throne anymore. 21G. Why is there a piece of paper on that pillar? Ogron's room, stay out. Yeah, let's avoid that for now. Elixir. Potent potion. Of course he locked the door. We'll have to find him and take the key by force. Or we could just break down the door. Deadly Haze Skill Enhancer. Wait, why does he have a doll? And why do you have a... Why does this guy have a campfire right next to his room? I guess it's because it's cold, that's why. Stupid question, huh? Okay, let's see if this team's good enough.
here we are, a cup of hot tea for you, Fyodor, and for you, Gunnar, tea of ice. No, no, Fyodor, don't tease your sister. You know she can't handle hot beverages. Thank you for apologizing. You are growing up so fast. It almost brings the tear in my eye. You, what? How? How long have you been standing there? Long enough to know you have a thing for tea parties. Oh, come on. You thought a drop like that would be enough? We might have been in trouble if you hadn't pull, uh, put a ladder down there, you know? Where are you people? This is my keep and I order you to get out. Get out! Okay, he's got two allies. Raging shout. Solar flare. I want to uh, uh, prox off that if possible. Okay, mocking blow to draw the aggro and break his arm. Deadly haze. This should supposedly be better than uh, 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 procking stuff. They have Whirlwind? And they have magic. What? Whirlwind self. Okay, Blizzard. He's already disarmed. Phalanx, just in case. Use a potion on Gwen. Oh, these guys are really strong. Party Brew. Hmm. This arm, let's see. I really need better healing power. What? Lower defenses? Whirlwind. Party brew a gun. Every slash. If I can knock them out quickly with a poison bomb, that would be great. Or reapply Deadly Haze. Helm Splitter. Hmm. Freeze. He's still blinded, that's good. I cannot seem to get him to proc me. Backstab. Ugh. Lover sets just return to normal. Okay. Power strike, but goes at the uh, goes last. Party brew. Attack. And you will use ambush. He's almost there. Use Swift Strike because that will go first. 
Why can't you all just leave us alone? Hey man, don't blame this on us. If you hadn't dropped us down the hole, you'd still be up here playing with your dolls. That's it, I'm done leading these oafs. I just want to be alone with my friends. I'm leaving. Nice of you to assume we're letting you get away this time. May I please leave? Roof, what do you think? I'd hate to leave those poor dolls without their owner. Go before we change our minds. You, you all really are too forgiving. Personally, I would have took his dolls. Anyway, he dropped us. Good, you didn't, uh, we didn't forget that one. The Ogron's key. Well, that was an intense battle, all right. Okay, and that's finally the other side. And we can actually skip it entirely. That'll make traveling easier. Thanks for tuning in to this Let's Play of Night Bewitched 2. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, subscribe, and or hit the bell icon.